good afternoon, Fist Club. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to FS Daily News. Happy Monday. This is the last full week that Giants will be in the office for 2022 because I believe it's next Wednesday or next Thursday they go on Christmas vacation. Means no testing list or no new mods. Anyways, I'm getting a little bit ahead of ourselves. Let's talk about today. Today in news, we got a sneak peek of the American Lexions, plus Tired Iron Modding shows us his John Deere 5830. And testing list is here, and there is 35 mods on that list. Remember, before we get to any of that news, make sure to hit that like button, smack that sub button, and ring that bell. Roll that intro, and let's go. We're taking our shot, what you got. We're going all the way to the top. We will hear the sound of one million people. Welcome back. Okay, so here we go with the first piece of news for this Monday. The first piece of news is from our good friend, Oxygen David. Teasing us some more on his court farms. He had this to say about it though. He said, some of you have been asking for an update to the PDA map and here it is. He's also added somewhere to train your horses and another goat pastures. As you guys can see from this PDA, it looks like there's about 50 to about 75 fields. So there's gonna be definitely plenty of things to do on this map. Can't wait for this map. Remember guys, this map is supposed to be coming to all platforms. I'm saying supposed to because you never know. And he's also picked a release date of spring of 2023. I cannot wait for this map. Next piece of news we have for today is from Joss Modding. Actually, two pieces of news. We were talking about this the other day. He had this to say, can you guess what is happening from this picture? That was in the last news video. Well, he's actually came out and said, some of you guessed it. Soon, if Giants allows it, the mobile wood cell point will accept the platinum containers. Keep your fingers crossed. Hopefully that does come out because that means we can actually use it on every single map. And then Joss said, while we are at it, why not create a simple warehouse slash distribution center for wood? One that accepts logs and it also accepts the containers. So we could be looking forward to two things from Joss modding. Then 4D modding updates us on his Armor Salmon TR2000 Beat Harvester. Decals are now complete, plus the chains, plus the control box. No release date or platform info at this time. Just I'm hoping this does come out to console. This thing looks very, very detailed. Okay, then after that one, we have some news from Gamer Designs. This is exactly what he put on his post. Little bit of the update to the 669 Buncher that's actually in testing right now. Uh, slow down cutting speed to improve the ease of use. Claws do not close as much so the tree won't glitch. Might cause smaller trees to be a little loose though. Added store option for tinted windows. Moved operator interior camera up. Increased speed of head movement with boom. Decreased lag between machines and attachment. Added 82 Studios custom co color palette. And also added a big surprise on that. So as you guys can see from this video right here, it looks really good. If you guys want to see the full video, make sure you guys head on over to Gamer Design on Facebook. And he has it posted on there. So this next piece of news is a piece of news that I've been waiting for for a while, which we've been talking a little bit about this, about Sid modding and of course his class Lexions. His class Lexion 600 old, newer and old 700 series will be available soon. So there will be three versions. He's also added the American version. He's still waiting for the tanks for the 60 and 70 versions. There is a bit of a problem with them, which he is trying to figure out. Let me know in the comment section below, which version do you guys choose? The US? or European version. Of course, me, the US version. So three harvesters, well, three separate harvesters. The old class Lexion 600 series, the newer class Lexion 600 series, and the old class Lexion 700 series. And of course, the EU and US version. Cannot wait for this. This is definitely gonna be my go-to harvester. Next, Jabalki is gonna be updating one of his older maps, not the Iowa Plains view, which that is an amazing map. If you guys have not played on that, make sure you guys do. Probably the best American map that's out for all platforms. But anyways, Jabalki says this, Goldcrest Valley 22 update is on the way. There will be a lot of changes. New Elm Creek buildings are removed from the map and old upgraded buildings are back. There will be a lot of new productions as well. So if we can expect to see something like, you know, that was on the Iowa Plains, but well, we had the uh, like electric factory. We had like what pancakes, waffles, diner. I mean, I can keep going on and on and on. So we're probably gonna be seeing a lot of new stuff on this. I can't wait to take a look at that. Okay, now onto the last piece of news for today. And that is from Tired Iron Modding. Everything for this pack has now been modeled and it's in game. All that is left to do is now patch up any holes and get it ready for Giants mod up testing. What this pack will actually include. 
the John Deere 5830, the John Deere four row row crop corn head, the John Deere 6666 six, six row row crop corn head, and the John Deere seven foot pickup header. The plan is to have another update by the end of this week, announcing its submittal to the mod hub. So be on the lookout for that. And it is supposed to be coming to console. I believe this is the first one we've actually seen in farming simulator since probably FS 11. And I know we've never seen anything like this on consoles. So this is going to be a huge mod when it finally does come out. Okay, so with the news out of the way, let's get to the new mods for today. Well, so far, at the time of recording this, like I said at the beginning, there is still no new mods. So, there might not be any new mods today. But anyways, we do have a testing list to go over, which there is 35 mods on this testing list. And yes, almost every single one of these does say PC, but that does not mean that they're only PC-only mods. It just means that they're in the first stage of testing, which is PC, second stage console, third stage release. So, let's go over some notable ones we have on there. Right there, the 669 Buncher. Of course, that is going to be an all-platform one. That is in testing. We have the Class Dominator 105 Deerlands, which that sounds like a map. Uh, let's see. We have the Gutler Mayor, Hand Plant Saplings, uh, Maypole Farm, Mobile Utilities, which that should be the update from Joss, uh, Old Land, Pottinger Pack, the TLX 2022 series, and TLX X52 Enclosed Trailer updates. Uh, let's see. Westbridge Hills and wood distributor containers okay so that is on the pc side now the only one that's available on the console side that's in testing is the montre pack now miles when we test it is 174 current edge wait time is four work days well right there was all the news and the testing list for today not bad day for monday we did not get any mods well at least at the time of recording this video at 11 35 a.m my time remember all the links to the news and the testing list are linked in the description also, keep in mind that mods and maps never have released it unless it is scheduled. Don't forget to smash that like button if you did enjoy the video. Also, don't forget to hit that sub button to stay up to date with everything that's going on in Farming Simulator. And make sure the notification bell is on so you don't miss any of the videos here on the channel. Hope you have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Wish I could say I was finally over you But that's not the truth